Like I literally made this food with all my heart and soul. And Star did not taste it. He didn't take a piece from it. Like it, I was pained. My special, special clique of friends. I believe we're friends. Like at this point, I regard us as friends. Even if I'm just looking at the camera. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mona. I'm a first time mom. And on this channel, I discuss motherhood, my lifestyle, and everything in between. Now, I did a video earlier about... Um, everything about baby led winning and today's video i'm talking about baby led winning mistakes things you should avoid things you should not do if you're considering starting your baby on a led winning journey the person i spent i'm going to show you guys things i wished i knew earlier about baby led winning now, the last video i did about baby led winning i also talked about this but i didn't go into it so in this video i'm going to dive into deep into things to avoid if you're about to start a baby on a lead winning journey or if your baby is already on that journey and also mistakes i personally have made when i started my baby on the lead winning journey and just generally things to avoid things to look out for things to never do and things you need to do you know correctly now the first thing is not making enough research if you're about to start your baby on a lead winning journey and you've not researched enough I don't know what anybody will tell you that would convince you. Even me talking to you right now is not enough research. It's part of the process, but don't take what I say for it. Go ahead and make more research to know the kind of food to introduce and the kind of food to stay away from. Of course, I'm sure you know you can introduce your baby to, you know, honey or your baby can take honey until one year. I'm sure most people know. And I'm also sure a few people also don't know. And the only reason why I knew this was because I researched about it. As the first time mom, I did not know until I had my baby. And watching videos like this had to educate me more about these things. And that's why I'm making this video ready for you guys to learn from. I'm not professional. I'm not a pediatrician or anything everything i'm saying here is just from personal experience so don't look at me as a professional to so always make research to know the kind of food to introduce to your baby how to introduce this food to your baby is it mashed is it period so another thing or another mistake you should avoid is not knowing the difference between when your baby is choking and when your baby is gagging now i made this mistake um there was one time i was feeling star and he was gagging but in my head i thought he was choking and I almost rushed into the hospital like it was a case of what you don't know you don't know <laughs> he cared so that's why i talked about making research these are part of the things you need to know watch videos on how do your baby you know react when they gag and how do they react when they're choking like just know these things it saves you a lot of stress like i had to learn the hard way so you have to learn from my mistakes understand this thing go ahead and Google it, what is the difference between a baby choking and gagging, watch a video as to that, so that will help you prepare yourself, if that day ever comes, you know what's happened. Third thing, again, I will discuss, if you do not need teeth to start baby led weaning, they can use their gum to chew, they can use their gum to chew food, they can use their gum to do so many things, so they don't need to have teeth or two, before you forge your head into introducing them to any kind of solid, so if you're watching me and you're waiting till your baby grows a teeth or tooth or whatever, my sister i have done the research for you so i didn't i didn't do meal prepping and that made my baby led winning journey exhausting it was exhausting exhaust ha you have to literally start cooking afresh you know every single day it was exhausting it wasn't fun so what helped me really was to understand that it was okay for you to prep meals for your baby and in different form of course the ingredients you're using just put them in the freezer make them ready at this point you understand their routine so once you know it's time for them to eat it takes you nothing less than 10 15 or 20 minutes to make the food that made a lot of change when i started you know meal prepping prepping vegetables prepping stew prepping sauce it just made life easy for me i was just it was easy and now it's it's like on the go i make um solid food every day for my baby once or twice and i don't you know go through that much headache like i used to another thing to avoid is giving up too easily i know i know i know if you're more watching this and you've ever gone through that um your baby not accepting food they just get to a point where they're not in the mood you know they don't they don't want to eat it's not a bad thing if your baby don't take solid or adult food that's fine you can just stick to cereal my baby takes cereal he takes breast milk he takes water he takes actual adult food so combination of everything but it's okay if your baby hasn't gotten to that stage yet it's fine and 
most times most babies get to a point where they reject food food rejection is a thing and one mistake i you know one thing i didn't get on time was it was okay for a baby to reject food it doesn't mean they don't want it they might just be going through things that you really can't tell sometimes food uh, refusal can be as a result of teething or growth sprouts or many things so most times give them a break when once you notice the baby is refusing to eat and he has always been eating and he just suddenly stops eating or stops sitting on a chair on a high chair to feed themselves give them a break does this time start like i literally made this food with all my heart and soul and star did not taste it he didn't take a piece from it like it, i was paying understand your baby and when they refuse to eat offer them something else or give them a break there was this post I made on my Instagram where Star was eating and feeding himself. I got this comment about someone who said that his child would never sit down to eat. It felt completely rela relatable because most times Star would not want to sit. There was a period when for a whole month we didn't sit on a high chair. It was just on the floor, on the chair, on the display mat. I was feeding him there or he would feed himself on just any other area apart from the high chair. I don't know what was happening. I, I can't go into his head and figure it out but... I took a break and going back now like after a month I started again and it felt like what happened didn't happen just to watch and know what the baby signs are of course always use sign languages for them to know when they want water when they want they're done eating little sign languages would go a long way to understanding what a baby wants at every point in time another thing or mistake or something i learned the hard way is distraction babies really don't like distraction now let me give you an example let's say a baby is feeding themselves or a baby is eating and there is a stain on his face or her face don't go in there and start cleaning it or don't start taking up don't do that don't just don't it gets them irritated just like you being an adult and you know you don't like being distracted when you eat that's the same way they operate as well some babies don't like when you distract them or try to clean up mess when they're eating just let it go they're going to make a mess be prepared for it i talked about all you need to prepare yourself for in this same video i talked about things to look out for and i said this which is be prepared for the mess it's okay right just allow them be don't distract them it gets them irritated or one mistake you should avoid is don't stop breastfeeding your baby or don't stop giving your baby milk even after introducing them to Sully because till one year just always give them milk this milk can be of either you're giving them breast milk or you're giving them formula or you're giving them both don't stop the routine it's supposed to be a complementary food other than breast milk and formula so people misunderstand it so even if you stop breastfeeding early you can still continue with the milk or the bottle till you know a year as tiny as they are as little as they are they have boundaries right don't push their boundaries don't force them to eat those sometimes I forget so I force him to eat guy if he's done he's done he's like what I can do so don't force your baby to eat don't force them to eat just go with the flow it can be exhausting tiring annoying sad but don't force them to eat okay don't do it the traditional way if you're Nigerian you know that you know that thing we do that forceful act we do our mothers did I don't do it you know forcing your babies to eat don't do that just let them be if they're trying to eat by themselves give them time on their high chair to just spend as much time they want to that time they'll build the consistency the routine of eating other kind of food and once they get to one year and they're in that third last stage then it's easier for you to just control their actions this brings me to the end of this video if you enjoyed watching me blab let me know down in the comment section if you've learned one or two things if this video has been informative or educative in any way or profound help to you in any way let me know down in the comment section and if you've made any of these mistakes um classify them as mistakes because it's something you can avoid and if it's something you can relate to also let me know down in the comment section if you've done any of these things as well and the result was crazy down in the comment section if you haven't subscribed to this channel please what are you waiting for please subscribe i would love to have you as part of my community members and also turn on your notification bell to stay notified every single time i drop a new video follow me on instagram if you're not 
at the Red Nekmuna. There I share daily tips and tricks from baby led winning and also mom hacks. So do follow me on my Instagram. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe and turn on your notification bell to stay notified when I drop a new video. See you guys in my next video. Bye.